And they've been getting in today. Uh, a lot of people asking, why didn't Kate give William a wedding ring? Cynthia is one of those asking. She says, is it a royal tradition? Well, it's a very old-fashioned tradition that only one ring was given. And I'm afraid it goes back to the idea when a wife was a chattel. It's a very long time, i.e. she was an owned possession by a, by a husband. And whilst a lot of people have evolved so that both do the ring, some men don't like to wear wedding rings. And I imagine that was a personal choice by Prince William. The Prince it's, of Wales does wear a wedding ring, he though, does, doesn't he? He's, beneath he's, his signet uh, ring. Yeah, exactly. Most of the princes wear wedding rings just underneath uh, their signet ring. Prince Edward does that too. And it, it's just something he chose not to do. In strict terms, there's no requirement to do more than, than one. That was. Charlotte, do you have a measurement for the train as to how long it was? Yes, I do. Two metres and 70 centimetres. So that's a substantial train there. And it took her uh, some three and a half minutes to make her way down the aisle. The speed that you would have to go with not only a dress with that train, but also the corsetry that's involved in a dress like that. So it's no wonder, really, that she was stepping at a regal pace. And, and if I could have a quick word about Pippa Middleton's dress. We just saw her going in, uh, at, which could be an incredibly unflattering shot, holding the train going into the Abbey there, up that red carpet. Uh, there was no room, Sarah, for forgiveness with that, and she looked absolutely amazing, I thought. She did look incredible. This is a dress also made and created by Sarah Burton at Alexander McQueen, a heavy ivory satin-based crepe with a cowl front and the same button detail down the back and the lace trims as her sister's dress, as the bride's dress. So these were very much 